All right, well, Brazil's President Jair Bolsonaro, he is uh, he is under fire after some comments he made uh, regarding the My Sharona guys. You know what I call the My Sharona, the sickness going around the world. I can't say the real word because YouTube doesn't like it when I do that. So I got to call it the My Sharona. Okay, guys, I got a full breakdown for you coming up. You're not going to want to miss this. First, before I do that, do me a huge favor. Give this video a like. Let's get the likes way up on this video, guys. Share the video here across all of your platforms. Subscribe if you're brand new because you're going to love this channel and all the videos that I do. And if you do enjoy these videos that I do for you each and every single day, would you consider sponsoring the channel here for $5 a month or more? You could do so by going to patreon.com slash conservative truth. I got a pretty little link for you. It's right down there in the description of this video. It'll take you right there. What is it going to get you? Access to all of my podcasts where I can break things down more in long form. We talk more about sensitive subjects over there different topics and headlines uh, that I just could never even think to talk about here on YouTube. So it's exclusive for the patron members only. And so thank you for everybody who is a member of Patreon. You know, with YouTube guys, they're demonetizing my videos. They're shadow banning me. They're not giving you guys the alerts for when I post new content. It's terrible what they're doing, guys. I mean, look at me. I'm a blind, fat guy for crying out loud. What kind of a threat could I possibly be to YouTube? Well, except maybe I'm a threat to a large pizza. But that's, you know, I mean, that is what it is, okay? I'm just trying to bring you guys the truth and the news about what's happening here in the last days because we know Christ is coming back soon. So thank you guys for your support. Anybody who's able to help contribute with that. Now, let me get over here to Jair Bolsonaro. He, you know, this guy, he wants to tur return back to normality as soon as possible. I mean, he was making statements saying that, look, you know, if you get the My Sharona, he said, take it like a man and then get back to your everyday life. He said, look, we're all going to die at some point anyway. He says, the question is, he said, do you want to die from the fear? He says, or you want to die, you know, from, from hunger of worrying about, you know, whether our complete our economy shuts down. He's worried that Brazil is going to turn into Venezuela. And that's what he doesn't want to happen. He knows what's going on over there. I mean, uh, Bolsonaro, this is a guy who, uh, you know, he's kind of like Trump a little bit. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't hold anything back. He says what's on his mind, controversial or not, and he doesn't really care you know, what the media has to say. Now, he has called for all, you know, elderly people, 65, you know, or older to stay at home, but he doesn't want this to be lasting forever. He wants to get the country back to work. I mean, he's saying, you know, take it like a man and, and move on here, you know? And, you know, he did say that, you know, as far as essentials go, you know, all the stores are open over there, you know, grocery stores and, you know, like we're here in the United States. But he also said churches are essential as well, encouraging even people to go to church. And we know that's not the case in the U.S. is that many states are, you know, even threatening to arrest you if you even try to hold your church services. But that's not what Bolsonaro was doing here. Now, uh, just as of the other day, Brazil had over four, just had over 4,000 cases and over 100 deaths so far in the country. And a lot of critics of Bolsonaro are saying that if he doesn't get serious about this, that Brazil could find themselves in a real problem with an even higher number of cases uh, and a much higher count of death. But Bolsonaro appears to be one, uh, if not you know the one, but one of the top leaders in the world who is uh, maybe not buying into this whole thing as much as all the other leaders are. So um, is that good? Is that bad? Does he know something we don't know? I don't know. I'm just reporting to you guys what's out there. You can let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. I'll also put a clip down below here in the description of this video. You can watch some of what Bolsonaro had to say about this. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.